I'm asking you a question. Can you read back again this verses when it says, وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ You just read it on 20, Al-Ghashia 20. Can you read it? Explain yeah, and the, earth, the... How it, and the earth, how it was leveled out. Uh, is it leveled out? What, do you, what does that mean? Is it earth leveled out? What does is that it mean? Flat? It's flat. That's what it claimed in Quran. It says... Well, I don't know what it started earth. as. Is what? I don't know what it started. I don't know what the earth started as. So you don't know how it's earth? Is it round or is it flat? The earth? Yes. It's not, it's not even scientifically proven. There are wow. people who are atheists like you who believe the earth is flat based I upon non-religious reasons. Now you're wrong again. I didn't say I'm a speaker. I said I'm irreligious. You're an atheist. I don't, I don't follow a religion. But I believe Okay, so, so you're, um, you're a you're a deist. Who your book was ashamed of create your book oh, you're a deist. God as Just explain just tell us why you left Islam. He is standing Just tell us why you left Islam. I, I, all, all I'm hearing is emotional emotion emotion. I am not I'm what? you listen. I'm asking you questions you're not answering none of my questions. No 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 no. I'll, I'll tell you what. No 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 no. I'm asking you again. Is earth is flat? I don't know. You say it's not proven. It's not scientific. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. I made a man there. A scientist. He told me something. He told me. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Bismillah. Hello, Hamza. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm good. So I have a question for you. Now I used to be a Muslim and I left Islam. Oh, you left Islam? Of course, for sure. If someone is speaking Arabic and he read Quran, for hundred percent, he will leave it. Islam. Now, oh, okay. For you, as a I, 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 before you speak, before you speak, Mariam, I, I, I have this um, claim I make about ex-Muslims. Yeah, you have no intellectual justification to leave Islam. Yeah, so I guarantee you, the reason you left Islam was emotional. <laughs> No, not emotional. I studied Sharia. I believe so. Did you, did you study Sharia? Well, let, let, let's, let's test my theory. I, I'm making the claim right now. The reason you left Islam was emotional. Come on then. Okay. Why did no. you leave Islam? Okay, I speak Arabic, dear. That's the, that's the thing. I don't care which language you speak. Why did you leave Islam? How, how can you read Quran in English and you do understand it if it was the truth? I don't Quran. care which language you speak. Just tell me speak why you left that's Islam. We know indeed that they say, it is a man that teaches him. The tongue of him they wickedly point to is notably foreign, while this is Arabic, pure and clear. I studied Sharia, I answered you, because I studied... Well, what, what, okay, okay. What uh, for your studying of Sharia convinced you that uh, Islam is intellectually uh, wrong? Oh, okay, let's start one. Does is does Go on, Quran give us your give us your best shot, best yeah. shot. Does, does Islam have in Quran? Did you find anything scientifically proven that it was? Like um, what, what do you what do you are you are you an atheist right now? No, irreligious atheist. No, it's a big word. I believe in a creator. I believe there is. A okay, God. so you're like a deist at the moment. <laughs> yes. All right, fair enough. Okay, go on then. So, if there is a miracle in Quran, as they're claiming, in uh, Muslim says, oh, Quran has miracles. It was proven. Now, science, if we're proving, is Quran did the right thing on the, like, for example, the moon, is the moon and the sun going around of the earth and the earth is standing and it's flat? Is it true? Okay. First, you tell me why you left Islam. <laughs> Hamza, I'm answering you because I studied Sharia ah, and when you study Sharia, okay. ah, you uh, all uh, Okay. Studying Sharia has nothing to do with the Quran talking about the no, sun and the moon. A lot of things. First of all, uh, okay, Mariam, 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 just tell us why you left Islam. What convinced you Islam wasn't true? I'm answering, my dear. I'm telling you, is you know you're asking me questions. No, no, no. You're, no, asking, no, you're asking. Quran, it failed in proving in science. It was claiming it has science, but it's failed. Where, where does the Quran claim? Okay, where does? No, she's messed up now because she gave me something to bite on. And what she said, the Quran is claiming to be a book of science. Now, we all know the Quran doesn't claim to be a book of science. 
So now I begin to torture her. Not too long ago. The Quran has what's called a falsification test. Now this is miraculous for any religious book to have a falsification test. To this day, masters of languages, computer programs, whatever, cannot do that. But it's not a fair challenge to me or you, because you're not Arab and I'm not Arab. Yeah, fair enough. So the second falsification test that the Quran puts in, which you can check out, Allah says, if this book was written by any other than the Creator, inside you shall find many contradictions and error. Because men make mistakes. Not too long ago. Now this book is revealed over 23 years. And this book is not just gibberish. This book is historical. This book is contains elements of science. Now the amazing thing about science, science is transitory. Science is theory until history reaches a period where they can test the theory and then they can see whether they were right or not. And then if they're wrong, they tweak it and they change it again. Well, every single thing in the Quran that was uh, revealed 1400 years ago, scientifically, is correct today. So the question we have to ask Not too long ago. Ask ourselves, how could a man be so confident that everything he wrote in 7th century would be correct, read by today? This is evidence. See, you can only prove some of the science of the Quran wrong in the future. So if you speak to the, a companion of the Prophet and said, oh, when a fetus forms in the womb in the stages of the pregnancy and the zygote and this and that, and you know, talk about um, the shape of the embryo and this and that. This couldn't be qualified or confirmed because you need an electromagnetic microscope to actually see the shape and of everything. You can't, it's invisible to the naked eye. Okay. Up until the end of the 19th century, the European scientists believed that the sperm carried a mini embryo or the egg had a mini embryo already inside it. Okay. But the Quran described the, the process exactly as it is today. Yeah? Not too long ago. Does the Quran claim it had science? Is earth flat? It's not. Does the no, where does the Quran? No, no, no. Where does the Quran claim it contains science? Ajaz al Quran al Ilmi. That's in Arabic how we say it. Where does the Quran make the claim this is a book of science? Really, al Ajaz al Ilmi. Have you heard this word before? Oh, uh, okay, Mariam, Mariam, Mariam. Does the Quran? You just said the Quran says it's a book of science. Where does the Quran make such a claim? I'm telling you, Muslims claiming... When I'm interested in what Muslims... I'm not interested in Muslims. You said the Qur'an claims it's a book of science. So I'm asking you to show me in the Qur'an, because you're Arab, show me any with any surah of the Qur'an that makes the claim that this Qur'an is a book of science. And this brings me to my third point, which is the argument of the physical coherence of the universe which is a Quranic argument, because today I'm just going to be sticking with the Qur'an. The Qur'an says, That, chapter 67, verse 3. Look at the universe. Look up in the sky. Look at the sky. Look at the coherence of the universe. Do you see any inconsistencies? Look again. The Quran says, wait a minute. Look again. Let me look. Let me see. Is there any inconsistencies? Now, I thought about this verse. And this verse is telling us that there is a uniformity of nature, a consistency of nature, a coherence of nature. Didn't it speak about Earth? Not interested what it speaks about. You said the Quran makes the claim is a book of science. Do you want to take that claim back? I don't mind. Can I ask you this question? Because you know... In this episode, we're going to be looking at the sixth chapter of the Quran, verse 111. See, in this verse, God shows us or highlights one of the main reasons why people deny Him, why people reject Him. And Allah shows us that it's not for rational reasons. It's not for, for, based on evidence. It's not because they can't see God. See, Allah says, even if He had sent down the angels to these people and they could see the angels and they had the message, the Quran with them, all the dead started to speak to them even. 
or even if God brought all of his creation together and put them in front of these people, they will still oh, deny in Allah. Do you want to, do you want to take out? your claim back? No, 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 do you want no, no, to take no. your claim back? I'm, I'm answering you and you go back again to ask me the same question. No, 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 no. no. Mar Mariam, 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 you came on here thinking you had something to say. Okay. You know over here because your people was coming to our I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm, yeah my point no and you're here you're here Hamza is the greatest man to answer your questions I have questions uh, uh, yeah your questions are stupid based oh, upon false premises stupid? okay this is the answer mostly which which I found in college when I was asked but you keep you asking know. stupid questions I'm not surprised when I'm asking these, this is, is why you get answers earth. you can't comprehend is earth is flat is earth is flat as the quran says does, does the is quran it, no no let's go back flat. to your claim I'm let's flat. deal with is the premise let's deal with the premise let's deal with the premise do you still claim the quran says it's a book of science maybe there is in their stories instruction for men endued with understanding it is not a tale invented but a confirmation of what went before it a detailed exposition of all things and a guide and a mercy to any such as believe maybe you have the answers that i couldn't find it with my own M M well, mariam so mariam I'm asking you maybe you need to think about your questions flat. just answer yes or no uh, okay maybe you need to research your questions a little bit better now you came on with the claim that the quran is a book of science it makes the claim it's a book of science yeah right so all i'm asking you to do all i'm asking you to do you came on you you're arab you can read the quran in its language so give me the verse of the quran that the quran claims to be a book of science that's all you need to do you read it in english or you read it in arabic I want you to give me the surah number where the Quran makes the claim it's, it's the book of science. Regarding the basic question, all the three people have asked that, that all of them want to become a Dai like me. They want to enter Jalat al-Firdos. Let me tell you at the outset that it's not compulsory to become like me to enter Jalat al-Firdos. An exotic language. I wonder what this strange creature tries to tell us. As far as I'm concerned, I, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he accept my efforts whatever he can. Wait, I think it speaks English. Some form of Anglican I don't quite comprehend. I don't think we are in danger. Do you understand this? What do I say now? Just one second, just one second. Just bear me one second. Babe! Mm -hmm. Just one second. I'll bring my wife. She understands Arabic. Good. Just one second. Aha, you became a Muslim. Now look at the accusation. I became a Muslim for a woman? So for your wife? No. That's a fair enough. That's 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 the answer I was looking for. What's the answer you were looking for? Didn't even ask a question about my wife. The reason. Do me a favor, babe. Just quickly. This uh, ex-Muslim lady, she's Arab, yeah? And she's boasting that she speaks Arabic. And I've asked her, no, I've asked her to give me the verse in the Quran where the Quran makes the claim it's a uh, book of science. Okay. Just Open one second. Al right, go on. Open Surat Al Ghashiyah. Surat Al Ghashiyah. Give me a paper, give me my clear Quran. I'll do it easy way. Go on. Al Ghashiyah, uh, verse number 20. Okay. One second, one second. One second. Do they not look at the camels, how they are made, and at the sky, how it is raised high, and at the mountains, how they are fixed firm, and at the earth, how it is spread out? Verse 20. So you're telling me this One verse is going to say, is the Quran making the claim it's a book of science, yeah? Okay, one second. Um... Do they not ever reflect on camels, how they were masterfully, masterfully created, and the sky, how it was raised high, and the mountains, how they were firmly set up, and the earth, how it was leveled out? So continue to remind them all, Prophet, for your duty is only to remind. Okay. Where did that say the Quran makes the claim it's the book of science? So 
now in these isn't he talking about the earth and the mountains and how it's been created no no where's the claim you said the quran claims to be a book of science i'm not letting her off that one in quran itself a warning to any atheist or christians if you want to debate me be very careful what you say because i'm going to hold you to it i'm going to hold your feet to the fire all right uh-oh retard alert retard alert class where does the, the quran make the claim it's a book of science the verses in, what is the what do you call this when he talks about earth and wounds and sun what do you call it in your oh, own oh, okay I'll, I'll i'll say it again to you you said the, the quran claim you Isn't said it? you said the quran claims to be a book of science the quran doesn't say it's a book of science with these exact words hamza wins the nobel prize for grammar Where does the Quran with make that these, claim? With these verses in Quran, it talks about earth. Now it's part. Oh, of you're saying the Quran talks. All right. So just let me just understand something. What you what you mean? So here's what you said, and here's what you mean. The Quran claims to be a book of science, is what you said. What you meant was the Quran contains things um, explaining natural phenomena. Yeah? Ah. Now, because maybe you don't know what's the meaning of al ijaz al ilmi. No, 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 no. It's two different claims. Does the Quran speak? So, does the Quran speak about mountains and the sun and the moon and the sea? Yeah, it does. Does it speak about? Does it speak about the embryo? Yeah, it does. Does it claim to be a book of science? No, it don't. I'm asking you a question. Can you read back again this verses when it says "Wa ardi kayfa sutihat"? You just read it on twenty, Al Ghashia twenty. Can you read it? Explain yeah, and the earth, the how it, and the earth, how it was leveled out. Uh, is it leveled out? What do you? What does that mean? Is it earth leveled out? What does is that it mean? Flat? It's flat. That's what it claimed in Quran. It says. Well, I don't know what it started earth. as. Is what? I don't know what it started. I don't know what the earth started as. So you don't know how it's earth? Is it round or is it flat? The earth? Yes. It's not, it's not even scientifically proven. There are wow. people who are atheists like you who believe the earth is flat based I upon non-religious reasons now you're wrong again i didn't say I'm you're an atheist i don't follow a religion but i believe okay so, so you're um, you're a you're deist who your book was ashamed of create uh, your book oh, you're a deist as just explain just tell us why you left islam he is standing just tell us why you left islam I'm I'm all, all I'm hearing is emotional, right. emotion, emotion. I am not. I'm what? not you listen. I'm asking you questions. You're not answering none of my questions. No, 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 no. I'm I'll tell you what. No, 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 no. I'm asking you again. Is Earth is flat? I don't know. You say it's not proven. It's not scientific. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. I made a man there. A scientist. He told me something. He told me it doesn't matter. Do you want to do you want to take out? your claim back? No, no, no. Do you want no, to take no. your claim back? I'm, I'm answering you, and you go back again to ask me the same question. No, 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 no. no. Mar Mariam, 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 Mariam. You came on here thinking you had something to say. Okay. You know over here because your people was coming to our I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm, yeah my point no and you're here you're here Hamza is the greatest man to answer your questions I have questions uh, uh, yeah your questions are stupid based oh, upon false premises okay this is the answer mostly which which I found 
in college when I was asking. But you keep people, asking stupid questions. I'm not surprised. When I'm asking, this, this, this is why is you get answers Earth, you can't comprehend. Is Earth is flat? Is Earth is flat as the Quran says? Does, does the is Quran? It, no, no. Let's go back flat. to your claim. Are the gods an owl? Golden owl. <laughs> 